To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Ara. The gameplay is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the lines will go over a typical scrub's head. There's also the finely selected tech choices, which are definitely woven into the deck build. This game philosophy draws heavily from Patrick Chapin literature, for instance. The top gamers understand this stuff, they have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these card choices, to realize that they're not just intellectual, they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Ira truly are idiots, of course, they wouldn't appreciate. For instance, the finesse in Ira's existential catchphrase raises a reflex for game, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic fathers and sons. I'm smoking right now just imagining one of those adult-pated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as James White's genius would unfold itself on their playmats. What fools. How I pity them, smiley face. And yes, by the way, I do have an Ira tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only and even then they have to demonstrate that they're within 5 IQ points of my own, preferably lower, beforehand. Nothing personnel, kid. Cool face. Why is it always gotta be fucking raining whenever I wanna record? <laughs>